what's going on guys so today and from today onwards I'm going to start a tutorial uh, videos about learning solidity so uh, what is solidity and why do we gonna use solidity so first of all solidity is a programming that a programming language that blockchain uses in order to make uh, create and develop um, a smart contract so uh, how do we create and develop smart contracts using solidity so well um, there are a few ways and there are a few standard ways to do that uh, one of the best ways to um, in my opinion is to use remix IDE that you see here and then uh, also you, you can also use VS code as well but um, you can get started with this and you will see how easy it is to write your smart contracts using remix and then you can deploy your um, smart contracts with it and how easy it is to debug your code with it uh, and uh, one of the biggest issues that we facing when developing in solidity is you are not going to have um, one of the best tool that we have in many programming languages um, which is to have the print statement in such a way uh, like in JavaScript console log and maybe in Java you have system out print line you don't have that in um, Solidity so that's one of the uh, issues we have in developing Solidity smart contracts because we can't see exactly what's going on in the back um, but if you use uh, remix the Ethereum um, IDE and then you're gonna have a bigger picture and much better picture of uh, what's going on in the blockchain and the smart contract that you developed so that's why we are going to use remix the ethereum uh, IDE so maybe you are not familiar with the remix ethereum uh, IDE at the moment but I'm going to teach you exactly how you can use it and once you get uh, familiar with it you will uh, be able to work with the smart contract much better and you will see the benefits that you're getting uh, by using remix IDE uh, so to do that first of all we need to install some packages uh, before we get started because a remix as you can see um, here it is um, uh, online IDE uh, but remix doesn't uh, save your code in the editor uh, and once you reload it and once you restart your remix IDE you will see there will uh, no longer be your file existed in the um, uh, saved place that you saved your files so you need to have some kind of way to store, store your uh, smart contracts that you developed uh, locally and being able to sync with the uh, remix id so that you can develop and save um, and test a deploy at the same time so to do that first of all let's go into vs code and uh, install some packages locally so that we can sync with the remix ide so to do that uh, let's go to vs code uh, right now and uh, once you got in there you can install your packages uh, so um, a solidity provides um, a package uh, by npm um, which can be used to sync with the remix uh, ide so which is this uh, following uh, npm install g at remix project uh, slash uh, remix d you need to install this package to install this package you need to uh, have npm installed uh, in your uh, machine locally uh, otherwise you will not be able to you install this with npm packet manager so make sure that you have installed npm uh, in prior to that 
so let's install this <coughs> once you got it installed you will see a message like this uh, there's a little burning here uh, you don't need to be uh, care about uh, that's not a big deal um, and now um, you have your package now you can connect with the remix um, IDE uh, to do that first of all you need to make sure that you have um, your remix is um, on your uh, on your browser ready to go and uh, this, this should be look like this and then you can um, go right back to VS code and type this command remix remix D dash s space uh, full stop and then you can um, start your server locally that will listen to the uh, remix IDE uh, to like every change that it does and when you go back to the uh, remix IDE again and you can go to uh, your workspaces you just don't need to change anything uh, you just need to go um, to workspaces and you can select connect locally and you will get, you will get uh, a message like this it's going to connect through uh, through this um, port and it is going to connect to your local machine and if you connect like that um, sorry uh, connect like that and it will take a little second to connect and you will see something like this and if you go back to um, VS code and as you can see uh, you are successfully connected to the remix IDE and now uh, you can just close this um, message and as you can see there are a few files already created for us to work with but you actually don't need to be care about these things you can actually create your smart contracts and run them individually and independently so um, you can just uh, create a file like outside of the file structure that we have already you can create a hello world you can say hello um, hello and the solidity uh, file extension would be sol you can say sol and there you go you have your file and if you go back to the um, uh, if you go back to the uh, VS code back and uh, and you see there is a hello.sol created for you uh, that is the file that you created in the uh, remix just now so it is it is actually sync synced with the VS code and it is saved in your local machine so that's what we want and then uh, you can go back to soul hello.soul and we can start writing our first uh, smart contract so uh, this is what we are going to do so um first of all uh in writing smart contracts first you need in uh, in solidity first you need to identify the license that you're going to use what license you're going to use and what license uh do you want to be in your smart contract so it's going to be uh SPDX license identifier MIT so we're going to use MIT license and uh, you need to in um, in in the second line 
you in, you need to identify the compiler uh, version that you're going to use uh, to compile your Solidity. Uh, so there are many uh, compiled uh, compiler versions that many people in different for uh, in different smart contracts use uh, but in this one I'm going to use uh, the solidity version 8.10.8.10 uh, point, uh, point uh, point so let's uh, identify here with this um, line of code program um, pragma pragma solidity and you you need to identify with the carrot sign and then you say point eight point ten um uh, and when you when you use a remix you will suddenly get this kind of message um you need to most likely uh use um you need to keep the changes that you have in a remix uh, otherwise if you say replace with the content um, uh, with the local machine that you you are actually going back so you need to select this you will suddenly see this message it's a very common thing um, uh, you will get that message um, quite often when the VS code is not very, uh, it's syncoped very well. Um, it's all right. And then uh, you can start writing your contract. So how do you write your contract? You can start with the contract keyword. Um, every, wh whatever the smart contract you, um, you create, it start with the contract keyword. It, it's like the class in Java. Uh, for solidity so you can write hello world um, hello world and you can uh, and you can uh, create contract like this this is your first contract and this is the basic most basic contract that you can create and we are going to write the hello world program so we can say uh, as following uh, you can create a string and that is string is going to be public and then you can name your uh, string uh, let's say hello um, and then you say uh, hello world hello uh, hello world and you will make sure that you have end of the line uh, with colon uh, with semicolon and there you go this is your first uh, smart contract how do you deploy it now well you can go to uh, this icon right here that you have uh, different compilers so as you can see we choose uh, point 0.8 point 0.10 compilers but we have uh, in default point 0.11 we need to make sure that you have the um, compiler that you mentioned here selected and then um, you can always uh, select your uh, program language this is most probably default uh, programming language and as you can see our uh, compiler is running which is um, you know uh, compiling our uh, solidity program the first uh, smart contract and as you can see it is automatically uh, compiled and when you select this option right here you your program generally is going to be compiled automatically without having to compile it manually and uh, then you can go to the deployed uh, uh, deployed section right here and you will uh, uh, you will be needing to deploy your contract 
here what we did was compile and now you are coming back to here to deploy your smart contract and you can deploy it like that and as you can see it is immediately deployed uh, you can actually um, use any environment as you given here this this is default environment uh, this is the uh, javascript vm um, which is given you can always choose some other environment as well i recommend for now use this vm um, and just um, you can keep every other settings as um, as given and you can just click deploy uh, and as we see we already deployed and then uh, here is your smart contract that is developed and deployed and you can expand here and you see hello this is the um, variable that we created earlier and that says hello as you can see when you create uh, when you click hello you get hello world now this is stored in the blockchain that you just developed and deployed so now this is in the blockchain and you're calling this variable to take out from the blockchain uh, to uh, we, what you are doing is actually reading the uh, hello uh, variable and you're getting the value of the hello variable as follows which is a string and which is stro stores uh, hello world as a string so uh, this is the basic concept of writing uh, blockchains uh, bl blockchain smart contracts and there you go you have your terminal and it it shows um, your transaction um, all the transactions uh, as well as a deployment and this was the creation of our deployment uh, of our smart contract hello world and as you can see we got our smart contract deployed successfully and then uh, following down here we have the call that we did once we um, click the hello button to get our uh, uh, variable string hello world so what we are doing is we are calling here uh, to the blockchain to read our value and as you can see there is a hash and that hash is the uh, stored address of the block and then uh, you called um, uh, this is this is your address and then uh, you are getting your data uh, that's that's the basic idea here um, so that's the hello world program in solidity so we will see in the next video uh, in furthermore discussion on solidity and we will learn more about solidity uh, from uh, from uh, from the next um, video as well so thank you for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for more content on solidity and blockchain development in general uh, throughout uh, through this um, youtube channel and yeah um, we will see what happens and we will um, learn more in the future as well so see you soon